हेंगा में गाजियानी एंड कतायन रिहाई टू प्रोमिनेंट एक्टर्स इन ईरान हैव बीन डिटेन्ड फॉर प्रोवोकेटिव सोशल मीडिया पोस्ट्स एज क्रैकडाउन ऑन एंटी हिजाब प्रोटेस्टर्स कंटिन्यूज इन द इस्लामिक रिपब्लिक द एक्टर्स वर अरेस्टेड फॉर एन एपरेंट एक्ट ऑफ डिफायंस अगेंस्ट द रिजीम स्टेट मीडिया रिपोर्टेड ऑन संडे हेंगा में गाजियानी एंड कतायन रिहाई वज समन विद रिगार्ड टू अ प्रोब इन टू द प्रोवोकेटिव सोशल मीडिया पोस्ट्स एंड मीडिया एक्टिविटी आफ्टर विच दे गॉट अरेस्टेड It has been more than 2 months since the people in the country especially women have come to the streets to protest against the conservative regime in the country which led to the death of an Iranian woman Mahsa Amini in custody after she was arrested by the Iran police Iran's clerical leadership has been shaken by more than 2 months of violent demonstrations in the country Authorities in the Islamic Republic described the protests as riots and accused the country's western forces of fomenting them On Saturday Ghaziani published a video on Instagram of removing the hijab maybe this will be my last post she wrote from this moment on whatever happens to me know that as always i am with the iranian people until my last breath the video shows ghaziani facing the camera without speaking and then turning around and binding her hair into a ponytail in a post last week she accused the child killer iranian government of murdering more than 50 children Iranian state media said that she was arrested for inciting and supporting the riots and for communicating with the opposition media. Riahi was later arrested as part of the same investigation, IRN said. The actor 60 who has appeared in a string of award-winning movies had in September given an interview to London-based Iran International TV and outlet despised by the regime without wearing a hijab. She had expressed solidarity with the protests. that have swept Iran since the death of Masa Amini as well as opposition to the obligatory hijab the protests which were concentrated in Iran's kurdish populated northwestern region spread to over 50 cities and towns nationwide are the largest since a wave of demonstrations in 2019 over gasoline price rises more than 300 people have been killed by the security forces over the last 2 months according to the oslo based group iran human rights the group says that 15000 people have been arrested a figure that the iranian authorities deny